Okay, YouTube, so today's video is about pregnant pet peeves, and I wrote this like last week, and I actually wrote it down, and I have recorded it from my camera, but my camera actually caught half of my face, so you see my lips moving, but my face wasn't there, and I know y'all need to see me, so. Um, but this video is about pregnant pet peeves, and I have five of them, starting with the five being the most irritating one that I can, like, it really boils my blood, and I really get upset, and, like, I just be upset. <laughs> so, we're going to start off um, with number five, when, have y'all noticed that because you're pregnant, all of your actions, oh, she's acting like that because she's pregnant. It's just a hormone, or, um... You're, oh, you're pregnant. She's going to act like that because she's pregnant or she's hormonal. It's just like, okay, if you make me mad, I'm mad for a reason. I'm not mad because I'm pregnant. I'm not mad because I'm hormonal. I'm not mad because, what, what, what the hell my pregnancy got to do with me being mad? Like, don't assume everything because we're pregnant. I'm speaking for all pregnant women because I know I'm not the only one that's going through this because of, I spoke to my homegirl, Pregonaya, on YouTube, and she can relate to it because it happened to her at one point in time, too. And, um, you know, she just stated that, oh, everything that she did was because she was pregnant. Even though she was a little bitchy when she was pregnant, I'll admit that, but why is everything, if we mad, oh, you're only acting like that because you're pregnant, or... You're only crying because you're pregnant, or you're you're so you're so emotional. No, I'm not emotional. So the little boy died on TV. That's sad, and I'm crying. Ooh, I'm 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 sensitive. Let me cry because the little boy died, or let me cry because you were not the father. Or maybe that's hormonal. I just cry because I because it, it happens. I cry over you were not the father. Get down. Get down. That's a trained cat for you. So, like, it, it's just like I cry because stuff is emotional to me. And I just cry, but that's not because I'm pregnant. I did that before I was pregnant. So, it's not because of the pregnancy. So, that's like one of my pet peeves because I've noticed that no matter what, if I say I'm hungry, oh, that's just because you're pregnant. You're so swole. You so pregnant, you just want to eat everything. I'm hungry. That don't mean I'm I'm can I eat? Can I live? Can I eat? Can I can, can I eat? Can I eat? Um my second one is getting left out of activities. Now activities I mean even though being pregnant you can't do too much. We can go to the movies, we can go out to eat. We can possibly walk an amusement park or something like that halfway, but just being left out, not even offered to go. So it's like, so say everybody's getting ready to go to the club. Y'all going to go to the club this weekend. Everybody's planning it, and you hear, but it's not like, hey, Shay, do you want to come? Even though I know I can't go, the offer to go would have been nice. You know, like, well, Shay, we know you're pregnant, but do you want to tag along? Do you want to just come? You can sit down in the club. You can just sit down and watch everybody in VIP. You don't have to be, you know, walking around and dancing and juking. Why we can't be offered to go places? I, I don't know if anybody else have that problem or issue, but I do. Sometimes I be feeling left out because they're like, oh, she's pregnant. She can't do anything. What can she do? Look, I can still wind my hips, I can still pop my ass, and I can still sway with the music. Don't even trip. This stomach is only temporarily. Don't get it twisted because mama still got it. So, I would like to be invited places sometimes. I don't know if anybody else has this same issue, but it would be nice to be invited. Even though, like, if they did say, Shane, let's go to the club, I would say no because it's not safe. Who's to say they ain't going to start shooting in there? So, I would say no, but it would be nice to have an invite to go places sometimes. Um, number three. They say pregnant cooler is the best cooler. It's wet, it's gushy. Give me one moment. Oh, I thought he was coming. They say pregnant cooler is the best cooler. It's wet, it's gushy. 
as bomb. I wouldn't know. But everybody's pregnancy is different. I've been drying in the desert since I got pregnant. And at times I feel like my significant other doesn't understand that. And it is more of a. I can't get there. Like, my body just doesn't produce that stuff anymore. Like, I, it doesn't produce it. There's no such thing to me anymore. And that, that sexual part of my life is just like, I'm done. There, there's nothing there. I don't, nothing. So, baby, get off the camera. I don't want anybody seeing your stuff. Huh? Go put on a shirt or something. I don't want no YouTube people seeing my stuff. Golly. Sorry, y'all. I don't want, I don't want, you know, all that physique on camera, you know. Y'all might like, you know. Uh-uh. But, um, yeah. But, um, and then that goes ahead with bodily changes. Like, okay, my legs hurt, my back hurt, my stomach be hurting sometimes because of the round ligament pain. I can't take all of the or oh, oh. I can't take all that stuff. I can't do it. I won't do it. And sometimes I just feel like now mine is very understanding, but I know I do know somebody that's man is not understanding and I feel for her. But sometimes your SO just doesn't understand. That's third. It's not that serious. Second have you noticed that nothing is very pregnant, pregnant, women friendly? We can't go, we can't do anything fun. Only thing we can probably do is a water park, and at that we have to be on a lazy river all day. We can't get on no slides. We can barely get in the wave pool because everybody start rushing to the front and can be kicking and stuff. There's not really too much for us to do besides eat, get fat, and watch TV. Basically, go to the movies and what. When we go out, like if we go out walking, there ain't no hub around for us to sit on and like just there's nothing for us to do. So it's like to me, a lot of things aren't pregnancy friendly, and I think like society needs to work on that because there's more pregnant people in the world every day, and I want to do stuff that's fun, and I can't do nothing that fun. I sit around and watch everybody else having fun, driving go karts and stuff like that. I want to have fun. Number one is lack of sleep. Tossing and turning. For me, it's the coughing and just can't get comfortable. You wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and it feels like you got arthritis. Your back hurt, your butt hurt, your legs hurt, you can't stand up straight. You're almost peeing on yourself. Can't make it to the bathroom. By the time you get to the bathroom, you're peeing on the floor a little bit because you just can't move fast enough. I'm tired of that. I want to be able to go get, just jump up out of bed and go to the bathroom. I got three more months though. And I'm counting. I'm counting. I need months to. I want to get back to normal. I love my bull. Don't get me wrong. I'm in, I'm so in love with him. But my body ain't what it used to be. My arm. I got juice now. I got stretch marks on my legs that I didn't even know was supposed to be there. I have stretch marks in places I never knew I had. And now I gotta go to the gym after they hate it again. So that's gonna be a work in progress. I'm also gonna do videos about that. So y'all stay tuned because I'm gonna end this now. So I'm tired of talking. And I'm done for the day. I'm about to go eat breakfast at 2.27 in the afternoon. Y'all stay fly. If you feel me, hit me up. If you understand where I'm coming from, let me know. Subscribe, comment, rate, and stay tuned for more videos. Y'all have a safe day because I will.